In this problem, uh, we will first find the voltage V0 across the 4 kilo ohms resistance uh, uh, analytically. So we can see that if we apply current divider rule, 5 plus 4 plus 1 here, so that's 5, and then the current through the resistance will be, uh, so the current here will be 1 milliamps current through this one because it's actually 5 kilo ohms there and 5 kilo ohms there so it will be just divided so the voltage drop will be 4 times 1 which is 5 volt or 4 volts so that's there that's fine but what we are interested now is to see the um, how the voltmeter resistance affects the reading if we want to measure it using a voltmeter so let's connect a voltmeter and ideally a voltmeter will have infinite resistance the internal resistance will be infinite but the one we are using let's say the voltmeter has a resistance of just 6 kilo ohms so it's a finite value and let's see what is the reading now the V0 reading what the voltmeter will read so this is the voltmeter here this one and it is connected across the 4 kilo ohms resistance so what will be the reading now we want to find that out so let's we just we can uh, assume it as a 6 kilo ohm resistance connected across the 4 kilo ohms one so the current now will be the current that first let's decide what's the current that goes through this one so what is the parallel combination here 4 and 6 the parallel combination is 4 times 6 4 plus 6 so that is uh, 24 and then 2.4 kilo ohms so our circuit is now this one there is this one and then 2.4 and there is one kilo ohms and there's five five kilo ohms so this is two milliamps still so the current uh, this current we need to find this current actually first then we will find the other current so that that current will be 2 over 5 plus 3.4 3.4 times 5 and that is that value is 1.2 milliamps so this is the current that will flow through this uh, branch 1 kilo ohms resistance so this one is now 1.2 milliamps and this 1.2 milliamps will be divided between the 4 kilo ohms and the 6 kilo ohms so the current through the 4 kilo ohms the one that's resistance uh, the, the voltage we want to find is will be 1.2 over 4 plus 6 times 6 we are applying current divider rule there so the current will be now 0.714 milliamps so the voltage V0 that the meter will read is this current times the resistance which is 2.85 volts so the though the actually the voltage is uh, was 4 volts the voltmeter is reading this amount of voltage and that is happening because the internal resistance of the voltmeter is not infinite if it were infinity then we could uh, treat this part as an open circuit so there would be no leakage current there and the voltage that the meter would read across this resistance would be 4 volts but because of this finite value the resistance uh, the voltage reading is less and the percentage error we can calculate if we want to that is that will be original voltage minus the one that reads this is the error over the original times hundred percent so so this is the one that is the meter is reading so original minus the meter reading is the error and if we do that we get 28.75 percent so that's the error and it's a big error so let's do the same thing with a with another meter that has a bit higher resistance which is let's say this one has a 36 kilo ohms resistance so we have the same uh, circuit arrangement now and uh, sorry there is no resistance here so it's just the previous one so 5 kilo ohms, 1 kilo ohms, 4 kilo ohms there and 2 milliamps there and the meter that is connected now let's draw it in another color the meter here that is connected now the voltmeter 
that has a resistance of a bit higher value 36 kilo ohms so now we will do the same problem once more and see what is the reading now what is the percentage error now so just to have an idea how the how if the voltmeter internal resistance is higher how the accuracy is more so here the parallel combination is 4 times 36 over 4 plus 36 which is 40 so that's 3.6 now it is closer to 4 kilo ohms closer than it was before so now the current here this will be divided between this one and then 3.6 and this is 5 there this is 1 there so the current is that is going in here going in this direction is uh, 2 over this is 2 so 2 over 5 plus 4.6 times 5 so that is 1.04 milliamps and this current is here actually 1.04 milliamps so this current will be divided between this and this so the current that we are interested in is the current uh, through this branch and that current is I if I write I just or maybe I4 whatever so if I do that that will be 1.04 and here it is 4, oh, 4 plus 36 times 36 so that will be 0.93 milliamps so the voltage that the meter will read now because this is the uh, current that is going through this one so 4 times 0.93 and that will be 3.75 so this is much better um, a much better reading than it was before and now the percentage error if we calculate again the original one is 4 so the percentage error and the meter reading is 3.75 over 4 times 100 percent and this is 6 point 6 point 25 percent so we can see now that, that we can see that the error now is much less than it was before and this this was bit much higher the uh, percentage error and the error is less because the voltmeter that is now used has a higher internal resistance and if we can increase the internal resistance even higher then we will uh, we would get a better reading a reading closer to the original one and also we have to remember one thing the it's not only how high the reading uh, the internal resistance of the meter is it's actually the resistance that we are the voltage across the resistance that we are measuring that's also a factor so if this resistance was less then we didn't need to have uh, that higher value of uh, internal resistance voltmeter because the proportion would be less but since this is also a high value compared to 4 kilo ohms is not small and the first voltmeter that we used was just 6 kilo ohms internal resistance so this 4 kilo ohms and 6 kilo ohms are pretty comparable values so that's the problem if it were just 100 uh, ohms uh, resistance just for example I'm saying then we would get a much better reading with the 6 kilo ohm volt, uh, voltmeter because the current would be I mean current through this one would be less so anyway I will try to um, do more videos on this one but let's see how it goes